blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you the easiest and fastest way to add lights and shadows to your painting. Just keep in mind that lights can bounce from the surrounding surfaces and windows or tree leaves can create interesting shadow shapes on the body you are painting. Before we start, let me show you very quickly what I have done. I started my project with a rough sketch, then I decreased the opacity and created a new layer above to clean up my lines. I added all the colors underneath the tracing layer and grouped them all together. Create a new layer above your color group and rename it Light. Set the blending mode to overlay. Make sure that the white color is on the foreground. Grab the magic wand to select the entire dragon. Now click on your tracing layer to make it active and click anywhere on the canvas. To display and check the selection, click on the icon located at the bottom left of your screen. Anything pink is outside your selection. So basically what we have done here is that we selected the canvas, not the baby dragon. To invert the selection, go to the Select tab, scroll down and click on Invert Selection. Let's double check. As you can see, the entire baby is now selected. Click on the light layer you created earlier. Grab a brush. I have a fill circle already selected. Do not worry about the size as it will change as you paint. Don't forget to use the eraser to shape your highlights.
Decrease the opacity of your layer. Now let's check to see how it looks with or without light. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, now we are going to create a new layer. Click X on your keyboard to move the black color to the foreground. Fill your selection with a black color. Set the blending mode to multiply. And now decrease the opacity of your layer. Turn back on your light layer and with the arrow move it on the top. Go back to the light layer and with your white brush continue to add highlights to your cartoon character. Don't forget to use the eraser to help you define your shapes and clean up your lines. crazy about the bubbles I created in the bottle so what do you think should we redo them I think we should I am on the layer where I painted the bubbles I just need now to click on the delete button on my keyboard to clear the content of the layer this won't delete the layer just clear its content I'm going to grab a special effect brush in the FX tag Let's use the stamp bokeh. Set the blending mode to divide. I'm going to leave its opacity where it is now and I'm going to add a few bubbles. Try to not add too many bubbles uh, as it will look overcrowded. we are done for today thank you so much for watching uh, this is uh, where we started then we added uh, some highlights and shadows and we finished with a dark background just uh, keep in mind when uh, creating cartoons that uh, simple is better when you start you don't need all the uh, fancy effects uh, find your style first and uh, refine it before you start playing with uh, special tools I'll see you next week. Until then, uh, keep practicing your craft and uh, most importantly, uh, have fun doing it. See you and uh, take care. Bye.